Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. Lewick and today we're going to do some keyboarding in class using the website called typing.com and this video is going to show you how to do it. So if you're watching this video, you already opened up the assignment or the material on our Google stream and then your screen looked like this. So when you're done watching the video, you are going to go back and go to the website here. All right, so uh, I'm going to pretend I'm done watching the video and I go back and I click on the website typing.com. That's going to open up a new tab. Notice I said new tab. You can go back and forth between your classroom and the tab. I know some of you like to watch a little bit of the video, pause, and then go back. That is always okay. I'm just going to focus my mouse. All right, so on the home page, the first thing you need to do is click on student login. Don't click sign up now student login and then look for the blue google button right here that's what you are going to sign in don't use the your username or email click on that now after you click it as a student you might get another window that pops up uh, asking you to allow permissions click on that uh, you might get a window that asks you to click on your username for google uh, you can click on that any permissions it's a safe site you can click yes and then that's going to allow you into the site all right so i'm going to log in okay i am all logged in and uh, the site might look familiar to some of you um, the lessons that you're going to do are found down here if some of the blocks are already green it means you've already done it in past years However, today the first thing you're going to do is take what's called a test. Um, it's just to let you know and me know like where you are, um, how your speed is and how your accuracy. Um, it's something that we're going to do every once in a while so you can see how much you are improving. So to take the test, this is the first thing you need to do. Up in this menu bar area, I want to click on tests. Then here's all the typing tests. We're only going to do a one minute test. And so you click on here. Okay, so this is the test. Oh, it's going to talk to me. All right, so um, it said it's one minute. And look over here in the right. You can see it has one minute. That's going to be a countdown timer. It doesn't start until you start typing, which is awesome, okay? Um, so it's going to start when I start typing. So shift A and I just type. And I just keep typing. If I make a mistake, it turns red. You can either... You, you just keep typing a u it's okay if you make a mistake and you just keep going and going until the whole one minute is up okay i'm all done with the test okay so i'm done with the test when you're done it's going to go to this page um i paused it because i didn't feel you guys wanted to watch me take the test and then started recording when it was done that's why it looks like it skipped so anyways it comes to this page test complete it tells me how i did in one minute my speed 25 wpm that's words per minute with 90 percent accuracy all right so we don't want to print any certificates but do go back to the typing tests i want to show you something this is not the first test that i took it has a graph showing how I've been doing. Okay, I started up here and then I was kind of goofing around yesterday with this. That's why um, my speed went down, but now today back up and it keeps track of how you are doing. September 11th, 12th, 13th. Today's the 13th and what you're looking for is an improvement each time you take a test. You don't have to do it every day. You could if you wanted to. Um, I'll have you take it every once in a while. We won't be keyboarding every day, but once in a while we're going to jump on and hopefully you will go on by yourself. You can go on this website every, anytime you want to, as much as you want, because really that's the only way you're going to get better. If you decide to make a personal choice to practice once in a while, no one can make you. I can't force you to get better and type the right way with your hands on home row. It has to be something that you want to do. But let's see. Yeah, I'm getting kind of trending up there a little bit. All right, so now practice. I want to go to lessons. And it depends where you left off. 
Um, if you're just beginning, uh, you have never done this before, you would start on this. And it says resume because I've already done that. It shows me how far I am in that lesson. It goes really fast. If you have some of these in green already, scroll down to wherever it's white and you would start on that one. If you have a whole bunch done already and you start and you're like, man, my fingers just forgot where to go, just go back a few lessons and just give yourself a little bit review. All right, so this year I'm going to be keeping track of your progress. Um, I do expect to see improvement throughout the year. Everybody's different. Some people it comes really easy and some people it's really hard. I'm one of the people that it's really hard for, but I really want you to focus when we do it in class on keeping your fingers on home row Try not to look at your keys while you're typing and really try your best. Uh, it does get easier and it gets easier faster if you just practice every once in a while. All right, so that's it. Go back to your Google Classroom. Click on learn to type and remember you're going to take the test first and then do the lesson. All right, we're using headphones as well. All right, that's it. Good luck. Have fun.